about 200,000 years ago, there was the Pleistocene Epoch. And around this epoch, a special set of humans were on the scene. They are addressed as cavemen, or better put, Neanderthals. Did you know about this, or have you ever heard of the word Neanderthal before? This video is a well composed and furnished guide to helping you understand a part of history not too common, not too spoken about. Come, let's embark on this brief but insightful journey together. The lineage of Neanderthals split from that of modern humans, but when that occurred is not particularly clear. Studies have produced various time ranges from 315,000 to more than 800,000 years ago, and the oldest Neanderthal bones date to 430,000 years ago. The reason for Neanderthal extinction are many, and the theories for their extinction include factors such as small population size, inbreeding, competitive replacement, interbreeding, assimilation with modern humans, change of climate, disease, or a combination of these factors. Neanderthals evolved in Europe and Asia, while modern humans, which are our species Homo sapiens, were evolving in Africa. You better not let any racist joke come to your mind. Neanderthals inhabited Eurasia from the Atlantic regions of Europe eastward to Central Asia from as far north as present-day Belgium and as far south as the Mediterranean and Southwest Asia. And the reason why I'm emphasizing a lot about Asia is because I have a surprise waiting for you. A surprise that will surely blow your mind and that surprise is coming later on. Fossils found in northern Spain and Swankombe in Kent, the Neanderthal lineage was already well established in Europe by 400,000 years ago. Now, how did they live? In truth, Neanderthal technology was quite sophisticated. It includes the stone tool industry as well as the ability to create fire, build cave heads, to cook food, keep warm, defend themselves from animals, make adhesive tar, craft at least simple clothes similar to blankets and ponchos, make use of medicinal plants, treat severe injuries, store food, and use various cooking techniques such as roasting, boiling, and smoking. Neanderthals consumed a wide array of food mainly hoofed mammals and animals. It's the dawn of a new age in robotics, and the digital just got physical. It's not a dream anymore. It's a functioning robot. If this is making this guy happy, who am I to judge? They're modeled on pornographic representations of women. It's encouraging misogyny. It's kind of scary cool. You know, we want the seduction to happen, to create that bond between human and machine. I'm Harmony, the one and only. I can love everyone and everything, but now I'm programmed to love just you. Now I know that that was very much out of the blue, but do you know that sex robots are now on the rise? Go to the link in the description down below and watch our new very recent video on the rise of sex bots. Subscribe! Now, how did they look like? How did they live? And what evidence suggests that these creatures really existed? On this our journey, let's take a sharp turn. A sharp turn into another segment of this video. Please, if you have watched to this point, and I know some of you have already skipped this part, but I have to read a lot to come up with this script. If you know how painful that is, please make sure to subscribe. 
For much of the early 20th century, European researchers depicted Neanderthals as primitive, unintelligent, and brutish. Neanderthals had a long, low skull compared to the more globular skull of modern humans, with a characteristic prominent brow ridge above their eyes. Their face was also quite different. The central part of the face protruded forward and was dominated by a very big wide nose. Their front teeth were large and unlike modern humans, Neanderthals didn't really have much of a chin. And I know some of you watching this video look like this. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I'm very sorry for that. <laughs> Italian archaeologists have found the remains of nine Neanderthals in a cave near Rome. The findings shed new light on how the Italian peninsula was populated and under what environmental conditions. The Italian Culture Ministry revealed the discovery over the weekend of an excavation that began in 2019. It confirmed the Guattari Cave, where a Neanderthal skull was found in 1939, was one of the most significant places in the world for the history of Neanderthals. They also found skull fragments to teeth, a femur, and other bone fragments.